So we're here today to trial the Viking based autonomous vehicle designed to do chemical uh, and radiological area survey using the payload that it's carrying. On the Haas Concept Demonstrator platform we've got five different sensors. Two are mass spectrometers so they can pick up deposited chemicals that are on the ground. We've got two sensors that are vapour sensors, so that's for volatile chemicals and identifying those. And the final one is a radiation detection sensor. We've developed a number of autonomous behaviours where the vehicle and the autonomy respond to the levels of chemicals and uh, radiation that's detected. Um, and then the vehicle is able to either rapidly uh, recce an area to see what's there, or it can do an accurate survey where it responds to the hazards and backs away and accurately delineates the extent of any contamination. So this trial is important because it's kind of working with future technologies, so hopefully we'll be able to have more time on target uh, with less risk to personnel and uh, with best capability to uh, detect whatever's there, be it chemical, biological, radiological or nuclear. Some of the key challenges associated with this system are taking personnel out of the loop and ultimately driving and using sensors which are designed to be operated by personnel, producing sufficient automation in the system to allow that to be done uh, remotely and autonomously. We know autonomy could be useful to do those repetitive jobs that, where people are at risk and we could take them away from that risk. It's been nice to see it actually in practice, moving around out in the field and demonstrating that this is somewhere that if we continue to put some, some work into it, we could make some real progress and do things very differently to the way they're done now. So this has been a, a great example of uh, MOD and industry working together um, with the expertise um, from DSTL and the users um, sort of influencing um, uh, the systems that we're developing. And we're here sort of doing back-to-back -back trials with uh, Falcon Squadron who do the role currently um, in a manned platform, uh, the Fooks. And so we're able to compare how they would do a survey or a recce um, compared with how the uh, autonomous uh, concept demonstrator would do, do the, uh, the area survey and recce. So this technology allows an innovative, different approach which could significantly change the military's capabilities in the future uh, and that's quite an exciting thing to be involved in.